Hello students, in this video I am going to teach you an hyperbola curve. Okay. So this is the given question. Construct a hyperbola when the distance of the focus from the directrix is equal to 50 mm and eccentricity value is 3 by 2. Draw tangent and normal at any point on the curve. With the eccentricity value it is clarified that it is a hyperbolic curve because this eccentricity value is greater than 1. So it means it is an hyperbolic curve. Right, so let me proceed the steps now. Is yes, the first step to draw an directrix line for the hyperbola. Irrespective of the problem, you can draw this directrix line for all kind of conic curves. Right, so I have drawn it. Let me name this line as A and B. So the A B is an directrix line. So the next step is to draw an perpendicular line to this directrix line. Considering midpoint approximately midpoint of this direct directrix line. Yes. So we have drawn this length of the line of directrix and axis line for an arbitrary length. Okay, and let us name this line as C and D. Okay. So the next step is to locate the focus point in this axis line. So taking my scale here, it is direct it is directly given the distance of the focus from the directrix line is 50 millimeter. And place so your scale on this axis line and locate the point of focus here. So this is my focus with a distance of 50 millimeter. Yes. So the next step is we need to locate the vertex point in this axis line. So the eccentricity value is 3 by 2. Right. It is nothing but it is a distance of the vertex to the focus divided by distance between vertex and this directrix that is nothing but eccentricity which means the distance of the vertex from the focus should be three parts and the distance from the directrix to the vertex should be two parts okay so we need to divide this distance of cf into five equal parts so that it is easy which means the numerator plus denominator value is 5, correct so we need to divide the cf distance into five equal parts in order to take five divisions of this okay. axis line taking 10 millimeters of each it is easy to divide this line 1 2 3 4 yes and 5 so listen focus this is my 0th point and this is 1th point 2 3 4 and this is your 5th point correct so this is my 0th point and 1th point and 2nd point so this and third point okay this is your vertex point okay this is how we need to locate the vertex point and focus point yes so the next step is to draw a perpendicular line in this vertex point yes placing my scale on this vertex for an angle of 90 degrees and then the next step is to draw an arc for the distance of vf considering v as a center point okay and draw an arc on the upside ones similarly the downside also yes so you can look able to locate so now we have got two intersection on this v extension line let me name this first intersection as v dash and second intersection as v double dash okay the next step is to connect this c and v dash and extend it the length of the line for some distance yes i have fixed my scale for this particular dimensions and i am now drawing the line like this and i am extending it to this particular distance similarly i have to draw on the downside also like this yes after completing this we need to divide this axis line into equal number of divisions from this vertex point okay for hyperbola useful to divide this axis line into four to five divisions okay that is sufficient for hyperbolic curve it is recommend to divide this uh, axis line from this vertex point for 10 mm of each division okay this is my recommendation because the next step is to draw a perpendicular lines in each and every divisions that we have taken in the axis line so similar like this we need to draw the line okay so i'm drawing the first division line yes and the second one is here is 2 
Similarly, the third one is on the focus itself. Three, four, and the final one is five. Yes, this is how we need to draw this line. So, and we'll name this points as one, two, three. Vertex to be considered the zeroth point. So, this is my first point. This is my second point. Third point is focus, and fourth point is here, and fifth point is here. So similarly, the intersection point with this C V dash extension line can be named as one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, and five dash. Similarly, you can also name the below points as one double dash and two double dash. It goes on. Okay. So visibility on the upper side itself is sufficient to draw this hyperbolic curve. So we'll proceed with the next step now. Next, we need to draw the arcs with the help of a compass here. So what we need to do? The vertex is the beginning point, so we have to start from this first point here. Okay. So measuring one and one dash, measuring one and one dash as my radius with my compass like this. So you can measure the radius. Yes, like this, you can measure the distance of one and one dash as a radius in your compass. And bringing my compass to the focus point, that is focus as a center point, we need to draw arc on the one the line that is one and one dash line also for on this one and one dash double dash line so totally we have got two points yes? so we can name this points as p1 dash and p1 double dash okay similarly you have to measure the distance for two two dash points yes measuring two to two dash as a radius as in my compass like this and we need to draw arc from the focus point, point is like this here itself and similarly rotate your rotate this compass the downside and you will get an arc here also right similarly we need to draw the third point third point is my focus point so obviously your point will be on this point itself so we need to draw that for third point and we have to measure the distance for the fourth line just like this i have measured four to four dash as a radius bringing my compass on my focus point i need to draw arc on this fourth line like this right similarly i have to draw on the downside also here on my fourth line yes similarly i have to draw arcs on my fifth point as well, like this is yes, after marking all these points in all divisions so we need to connect all the points is from the vertex point finally we'll get an hyperbolic curve right just like this, we need to connect. Yes, you see, this is a hyperbolic curve. Finally, we'll get a hyperbolic curve, and this hyperbolic curve alone should be very dark. Other lines are that directrix and axis line should be medium thick, and other lines should be very thin lines, as you see in this diagram. Okay, so now we will proceed to draw the tangent and normal at any point on the curve. Right, there is no condition is given in the problem. So we will take a point here on the curve. So let us name that point as capital P. Yes. And the next step is to join this P point and this F point that is focus point with a straight line with the help of compass like this. And we need to draw a perpendicular line to this P F line in such a way that that line should intersect your directrix line. Okay. Yes, I have placed my scale on this focus point measuring 90 degrees that is perpendicular line to this pf line and i'm drawing a line in such a way that it has to intersect to my directrix line like this so this intersection line is considered to be the point to draw this tangent line okay. yes i have placed my scale like this in such a way that it, uh, it is connecting this intersection point and this the point i have taken for drawing tangent and normal okay so now i need to draw the tangent line at this location with the help of the scale is drawing this connectivity line like this give us an tangent line okay. and drawing the perpendicular line to this t t dash tangent line is nothing but normal i have pushed it position to my scale like this and i am drawing this normal here okay let us name this line as n n dash so this is normal okay thank you all